Heidi v. Dr. Foster Series 2 finale left viewers hoping for a Series 3 million set transfixed as the psychological thriller reached a stunning climax tonight. But after weeks of scheming, plotting and venomous revenge the estranged husband and wife protagonists are really no nearer resolving their marital problems. In fact, they have just got a whole lot worse. Most will have been pleased to see the tide finally turn on Simon Bertie Carvel, who has exposed himself as philandering husband, incompetent businessman and lousy father. Not once but twice he had the chance to end his and our misery by taking his own life but simply showed himself to be the coward we all knew he was. Having been stripped of his new wife, child, job and house Simon is man down on his luck and seemingly without hope. He threatened to stab Gemma, pleaded for her to return, took himself to a motorway hell-bent on being run over and even persuaded her to assist in his suicide in a grubby motel. Throughout this addictive series we have seen the pair battle for supremacy as their destructive relationship unfolded before us. Yet, as is the case in millions of households across the country, it is the children who often suffer. And so it was as their troubled teenage son Tom Tom Taylor, the pawn in their poisonous union, could take no more. At the motorway services where the Foster family saga played out a sobbing Simon revealed how Gemma was once so ravaged by postnatal depression she wished Tom dead. Fighting back tears, she tells him despite everything I have been a good mum and I think one day you will realize that. BBC Gemma was welcomed back to this surgery, could this be a fresh start? The only way I have failed you is in the choice of your father, for a tantalizing moment it looked as if the couple might make amends. Moments after giving him the medicine to finish the job Gemma bursts into the room where Simon is about to inject and stops him, saying Tom doesn't realize this at the moment but he needs you. I am never losing him, Simon asks do you forgive me to which she replies I won't ever forgive you but we will both probably start to forget and that's enough, after the emotional trauma of the past five episodes things are finally looking up BBC Simon revealed how Gemma was once so ravaged by postnatal depression she wished Tom dead Friday September 22, 2017 Serene Jones incredible figure wows viewers during X-rated romp Gemma gets a call telling her Tom's appeal against his expulsion from school has been upheld and she is welcome back at the surgery. Could this be a fresh start? But, as has been the way throughout Mike Bartlett's Volcanic series, life has a habit of giving with one hand and taking with the other. As Gemma says in a heart-wrenching monologue, whatever life you had, whatever you thought was important, now looks so naive, it is then she receives a voicemail from Tom, who at 16, has finally had enough. BBC Tom vanished after telling his mother Gemma he is leaving he said Mom, I am leaving. I was going to move out anyway but I've had enough of dead and you, and not knowing, and I have got no school, no friends left and I hate myself. I just want to start again. You won't say me again. It will be better, I think. Love you, Tom has vanished. Gemma has brought Simon back from the brink but her world has just collapsed. Again, the prognosis for the Fosters is almost certainly terminal but the life support this exhilarating series has been on for the past five weeks should not be turned off. Not just yet.